Hey everyone, Strong Feet Caroline here, and today I'm sharing a informative topic. So I just want a precursor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. So everything that I share is from my personal experience, research, and understanding when talking about specific instances with the female body and bodybuilding. So. If you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you get notified the next time I post. Number 56, Caroline D. Squeak. Today, I've been talking a little bit about different ways that women are enhancing their physique. I'm going to take it one step further and talk about a particular risk that a lot of people overlook and it should not be overlooked. And that is virilization. So we're gonna start at the base level. What is virilization? Essentially it is when a female is starting to notice characteristic changes of androgens in her body. So basically changing from female to a male. Now, there are a lot of different things that can happen, but I'm gonna be focusing primarily on one that I have experience with, and that is vocal cord changes. So first and foremost, just want to advise that I'm sharing this to help other people. I know that is going to give me criticism, and I know that putting my own information and experience out on the internet is setting me up for that, so I'm aware of that. But I also feel that it's important because I constantly get comments on my Instagram or on my TikTok or even on here. What happened to your voice? Ooh, her voice sounds different. Oh, her voice has changed. Thanks. Yes, it has, Captain Obvious. And it's happened over the course of five years. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Also, what I noticed in a few different instances and why... It's really, really important that a female is paying attention to her body, not just going with the flow and doing what her coach or her bro friend said to do because it's what they said to do. So when we're discussing virilization and we're taking on those male pattern characteristics, it is from the use of androgens or the heightened androgens and the receptors in the female body. So. That can be from various things. There are some women that naturally have more androgens. Yes, there are some women that naturally have more androgens and maybe have a broader structure to their upper body. Maybe they have a elongated torso and they have broad shoulders and maybe they have more facial hair on their chin than maybe their best girlfriend. Maybe they have a deepened voice and maybe they're a rock star athlete. Go figure. There were actually a few, uh, I believe, Olympian athletes a couple of years ago that were not allowed to participate in the Olympics because their testosterone level tested too high. And it was their natural testosterone level. So, needless to say, we know that you can enhance your performance and athleticism when you have more testosterone, which is the primary reason why people use performance enhancing substances. So virilization can cause enlargement of the larynx. So the vocal cords, which is what we're talking about, can cause enlargement of the clitoris. It can cause facial hair, can cause bone structure changes, jawline changes, there's a lot of different things, so you just need to be very mindful of that. If you missed it, I talked all about this and more on enhancement in my course, Feminine Health Enhanced. I'm currently selling the replay of the hour and a half long class that I taught with the accompanying slides. I'm no longer teaching the class live, so if you're interested in this exclusive class, go ahead and send me an email to strongsweetcaroline at gmail.com, and I'd be glad to set you up. But I do want to announce that I have just launched my Patreon account. I'm going to be sharing exclusive behind the scenes of my training, of what it's like to be an athlete, as well as some tips and feedback on 
nutrition, on hormone balance, and enhancement. So I hope you click that link below in the caption as well. I can say from my personal experience, a, I think about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, was the first time I actually noticed something was off and different. And it was kind of just like out of the blue where my voice was scratchy. And I'm like, huh, well, that's weird. And I was on cycle and getting ready for a show. Didn't think anything of it. I thought I was just tired from doing fasted cardio and being up super early to do cardio and then go to a corporate office job. Well, after prep, my voice returned to normal. wasn't scratchy anymore. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, the following season is when it became a little bit more severe. I literally felt like my voice was gone. I could hardly speak. And when I got done with the show... I also realized I had gotten COVID and been sick. And I thought I had bronchitis or laryngitis, something else going on. I didn't realize, now I do, that it was actually virilization. So fast forward to competition prep this year in 2021. There was an instance where I was starting on a cycle and decided that it was a good idea to increase the dosage. I increased the dosage and within 24 hours, my voice started to crack, started to hurt my throat. And my coach me was like, stop taking it off. I'm like, okay. And it was in that moment, realized that I had already suffered some permanent virilization in my vocal cords. So I previously did a video on this on YouTube called My Biggest Insecurities with Bodybuilding. I'll link it up here for you guys. And in that, I was talking about some of the things I was experiencing and my voice changing and it sounding really deep and just was not feminine anymore. And I felt like I couldn't sing at certain pitches and was just super insecure because I used to be able to sing along to these like 90s girly songs. And now I'm like, my voice is down here and I can't sing. So needless to say, I'm sharing this because I want to help other women understand what can happen from androgenic anabolic steroid use. So I did some research and found some studies. There were not a lot of studies to find, unfortunately. There was one study that I found for a long-term side effects from AA's for female vocal cords. And essentially it was about over a, a 20 year period of time. They did find that the larynx was permanently enlarged. And so if you think about the vocal cord, it's kind of like this. And if the vocal cords get larger and elongate, that's when our voice gets deeper. When they're really close together and there's a smaller gap, that's when our voice gets higher and our pitch is higher and it's more airy and lightweight. And I've actually been doing some vocal cord practices to strengthen my vocal cords again and work on changing my pitch, changing my tone so that it is more feminine the way that I want to sound. But some of it I would not be able to fix on my own and would require surgery. Another study that I found regarding AAs and laryngitis showed that you can actually develop laryngitis from persistent use of anabolic steroids. So that's a whole nother can of worms that, you know, you see women who are going from show to show to show to show. How many weeks are they running cycles of gear? And that can be affecting their vocal cords forever. And this is not just high level wellness, figure, physique, bodybuilding athletes. There's also bikini athletes that have had virilization. So, it can be in any division, but at the end of the day, virilization can happen from any amount of use. Every single person is a bio-individual. If you follow me on here, you know I constantly am talking about bio-individuality of the body, and every single person's body responds differently. So what does that mean? One person who takes five milligrams of Anavar for an eight-week cycle just because that's all you take for one time doesn't mean you can't virilize. 
So you just have to be really smart, be very mindful of your body and pay attention and know when it's time to stop something and know what your boundaries are and what you're willing or not willing to take. Know the signs. If you start to notice voice cracking or it's really hard to hit certain pitches or all of a sudden you're feeling more like angry, anxious, signs that you're increasing your testosterone, just be really, really mindful and know that some of it is repairable, but a lot of it is irreversible. So I hope this video you found helpful. Uh, drop a comment below of you know, your personal experience, if that's something you've been working through, and I'd be glad to continue on this topic. Uh, like I said, I am working on some vocal cord lessons myself to work on some healing. So just want other women to know that you're not alone. We're all in this together and we can make the industry better when we continue to educate and not hide things under the rug and just say it's okay because she looked a certain way on stage. So thanks so much and I hope you all have a wonderful day.